Hi, my name is Rob Marcota. I am an Aviva product specialist. Today we're going to be covering how easy it is to implement a Arduino to connect to Aviva Edge 2020. You're going to need three things. One, you're going to need an Arduino board, you can see in this video here. Two, you're going to need the Arduino IDE. And three, you're going to need Aviva Edge 2020. The first thing you want to do is connect your, your Arduino to your computer. You can see it here on the cable. The next thing you want to do is open up the Arduino IDE. Now I have loaded a program already that I can go over pretty quickly. Basically in the beginning I open up the serial uh, communication with a 2400 baud rate and then I initialize a tag value and then every scan during this program we add a random value to the initial value of 1000. And if the value gets over 9500 we go back to 1000. And then also we add in a delay for one second. So we're not adding it as fast as the computer can process it. So the first thing you're going to need to do is upload this onto your Arduino. And if you need to, you might want to check that the Arduino is connected on the correct COM port. So I'm currently using COM3. Now once it's done uploading, what you want to do is confirm that the program is actually running. So I'm going to open up the serial monitor. And we can see that, yep, the values are increasing by a random value about every one second. The next thing you're going to want to do is uh, close the monitor and then go ahead and open up Aviva Edge 2020. I'm going to open up a new project. So I'm going to click on the top left and click on New. I'm going to name it Project. I'm going to go through the basic setup and just, I don't need any passwords or configurations. Click on next and finish. Okay, so now we have a brand new project open. I'm going to click on the communications tab in the project explorer and right click on drivers and then click on add remove drivers. And I'm going to scroll all the way down to TXRX. TX. RX. I'm going to click on select and then click OK. Now the driver has just been added, so I'm going to click on the TXRX folder, right click it, and click on settings. Now remember the Arduino is currently connected to COM3, so I'm going to change that to COM3. Our baud rate is 2400, and then I'm going to click OK. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a new driver page, and the header, we're going to use RX4. And I'll explain that once we get into runtime. Now for the tag name, I'm going to create a new tag. I'm going to call it new val. And we're going to create a new tag name. It's going to be an integer. And I'm going to click OK. The last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the project tab, click on viewer, and unselect on start maximized. So when we enter runtime, it's not going to create a full screen. Now I'm going to click on the save icon save our sheet number, and then I'm going to enter in runtime. Now, under the watch table, I'm going to enter our new tag, new val, and we can see that, yep, we are actually reading the same value that we were getting from the Arduino. Now, really quickly, if we want to change the header from RX4 to RX2, we would see that now the tag has is now only looking for two, val, um, two integers for its reading. So we want to make sure that the Rx value matches the size of the tag that is being sent from the Arduino. Great. So this is a very basic, simple setup of how to connect a Arduino to Aviva Edge 2020. If you have any questions, comments, likes, tags, tweets, hashtags, feel free to send us an email or down below. Thank you.